When did it start? When did you uh, start building the cave? And so if you can imagine a 10 by 12 room, 11 guys crammed in there, watching a 21 inch TV on my hockey stick furniture. My wife sticks her head in the door and it just reeks of, you know, God knows what. Beer and bread. Beer and heart. You gotta do something big. Well, a friend of mine, Frank, happened to be here. I went to work the next day and I come, my father-in-law calls me and goes, you don't want to come in the backyard? And I go, why, what's going on? Because Frank's over here with the excavator. It's like a bomb hit it. I'm like, what? I come around the corner, there's a pile of dirt as high as our roof. And Frank says, yeah, we're doing the excavating for the foundation. I'm like, I guess it's on. So, <laughs> so we just picked at it. And over the years, you know, I don't want to pay full price for everything. So, you know, you know, I find somebody getting rid of some two by fours or two by sixes. And, and their friends started getting wind of what I was building. And they said, you need screws? I said, yeah, I need screws for the siding. You need primer paint? Yeah, for sure. And you need a window? So a guy gave me two beautiful color windows. So I kept the list of everybody that donated either their material or time on the concrete. And after um, three and a half, four years, finally we had the roof on. Jordy did a paint job behind the bar there, right? Nobody sees it. Nobody sees it. <laughs> but uh, I kept the list, but I put all their names on, on a, one of our two foot tall replica Stanley Cups. And I had a big party, supplied all the beer, all the food, and all the people that helped me build this cave are all on this cup. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. What's the process of uh, getting a cup made? Is it, uh, you have to get that approved by the NHL or are you allowed to just make those? Well, I, it's a long it's story. A, it's a long story. All right, this is Jordy and Ken from the Ultimate Hockey Fan Cave, and we are guests on this week's Blue Line Hockey Club's podcast. Go check it out at bluelinehockeyclub.com. There you go. Keep your head up.